might language have evolved? And one answer to that is because it allows us to uh, create these much bigger communities. And this is a consequence of the fact that monkeys and apes create their kind of bonded communities by grooming each other, uh, you know, sort of uh, looking for vegetation or what have you in the fur. And they spend a lot of time doing this, and the amount of time they spend grooming is correlated with the size of the group. So species that live in big groups spend a lot of their day doing this kind of um, social grooming to each other. But the amount of time you can spend grooming is very limited because you have to feed, you have to go looking for, f for, f for food. And this sets an, uh, a, an upper limit on group size. You can't create a cohesive community of more than about 50 individuals by this mechanism. Um, uh, and so we were looking for other mechanisms that might allow us to break through that, to increase our group size from the 50, that is the maximum you find in monkeys and apes, to the 150 you find in humans. And um, at, originally I thought of language doing this, that somehow language is like grooming, because I can talk to several people together right, in a conversation, and this would allow us to increase. 우리는 지금도 철저하게 집단 속에 살아갑니다. 유인원의 최대 50개체를 훨씬 뛰어넘어서 말이죠. 만약 오래전 언어가 없었다면 가능했을까요? 언어는 인류 생존에 얼마나 큰 역할을 한 것일까요? That's the sort of icing on the cake of this whole process. I mean, we tried various things. We introduced various things, which we still use. Laughter is still very important in creating bonding. Uh, it, it allowed us to increase group size a little bit beyond the limits for monkeys and apes. So these are, these are gradually increasing the size of group that you can have, size of community. But what language does, and this is its most important feature, is it allows us to exchange information around the social network about what's happening, who's doing what, who's friends with who, who's upset some, somebody else. Um, so we know how everybody in the network, in the community, is getting on and how happy everybody is and, and so on, uh, without having to actually see it. And so the problem for primates is they only know what they see. If two people have a fight, a disagreement, uh, out of sight in the bushes, they don't know about it. But we can say, oh, did you hear so-and-so and the other person had a big disagreement and now they uh, are enemies, not friends anymore. Uh, and so this kind of information then becomes important in allowing us to manage these, these, the dynamic complexity of, of, of personal relationships within a community, keep them working better, as it were. So ultimately, it comes back down to understanding uh, individual relationships and how they work among a group of people. Um, and language has that unique property that allows us to exchange information about these things. Donba 교수는 최대 인간관계 규모가 150명에 달한다고 주장합니다. 던바의 수라고 이름 붙인 150명의 법칙. 그는 이 법칙이 아주 오래전부터 이어져 내려온 것이라고 믿고 있죠. Uh, for when we looked at people's personal social networks, your personal social world, we simply asked them to write down everybody they um, knew who they had a, a, um, a friendship with, a, a relationship, a family relationship or, or a friendship relationship. So it's not everybody you recognize um, and, and can say this is uh, President Obama, this one is somebody else. Um, that's a much bigger number. It's the number of people you have real relationships with, real friendships, and, and, and that's, you know, if you ask people just to put down the list. Of course, you know, some people have a few, some people have more, but the average is about 150. So we thought, well, is it true that people live in groups 
of just 150. You think of any big city in the world, Seoul, you know, how many million people live there? Uh, and first we looked to see if this was really true. We looked first at the size of hunter-gatherer societies, small-scale societies in, in humans, because this is how we lived most of our history in, in small groups. And it turns out that the typical size of their communities is about 150 people. Thank <laughs> you.